Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we're away to Getafe and we've made some changes. Some of them enforced. If you look, Xerxes was due to start today, but he's on a downward red. Castro is going to continue even though he's a little bit tired. Martinelli's back in. He's on an upward blue. It's not green as it's blue. Carlos Perez will stay on the right wing position. Emerson and Baca have come back in. Mandanda's going to be in goal. We've got Omaragic and Balbuena in central defence today. And Alex Mariba is in place of Herrera. It's typical though. I rested Xerxes. Well, I didn't rest him. Castro was playing. I thought, well, I'll definitely start Xerxes in the next match. Emerson, I thought, oh, he's definitely going to start in the next match. And Emerson's on a bit of a down, but I am playing him. The defence certainly wasn't solid at all in the last match. We were very lucky to get that 4-1 win. But Martinelli being back in, he's been a brilliant buy. Every match he's played, he's, I think he's got either an assist or a goal. And he's been man a match a couple of times. It's 1-0 already. What is going on with our defence lately? And it's been near. What is he doing? <laughs> yeah, just didn't clear it. And the keeper can't do much about that. Really poor defensive goal. First chance at attack and we've let in. Um, very sloppy. Looks like he's fouled there, but back is free. Ah, straight to the keeper. Trying the low one, but uh, too close to keep in. Not really enough power in it anyway. Vieira, the Carlos Perez is free. What a beautifully weighted ball that is. Vieira again. Now Emerson. Alex Mariba. Oh, just wide. He struck it well, had a bit of dip on it. And most importantly, it didn't uh, get blocked by the defence, which it normally does, those long range shots. Oh, Martinelli's free here. Nice ball across. Oh, and it is blocked, like I just said. Great pullback from Martinelli because he was he was free, but he had two defenders on him. There's no way he was gonna speed past them. Now he is back at back when Martinelli have certainly linked up well in this short time of uh, been playing together. Martinelli loses out though. Was that a foul? That was a penalty. Come on. How was that not a foul? Monnelly's in now. 1 0. Sorry, 1 1. I forgot what in the call there. 1 1 even. I couldn't even say Monnelly's name either. We should have had a penalty, but I'll take a goal in open play any time over a penalty. Nice ball through from Castro. What a finish. And again, that hold-up play from Castro. He's so good at that. Physique-wise, he doesn't look like he should be a target man. But if you play into his feet, he just holds it up well. He plays the right passes. 
he's very dangerous with his back to goal and when he's racing in on goal as well so he's a very good all round striker nice ball from Cousins there Back are getting forward again. Back air. Ooh. Don't think the keeper touched it, did he? No. I thought it was worth an effort. It's about, what, 40 yards out. A good 40 yards as well. Cousins, I've really been impressed with him. He was a very, uh, well, I was going to say he was a cheap buy. He was a free buy. Obviously, we'll have to pay his wages, but... He was an absolute bargain and he's massively improved the squad depth. Back out. I think he just fouled, but play on. Vieira to Carlos Perez. He was trying to play in Castro there, I think. Worry about Martinelli. Now Castro, back to Martinelli. Oh, just didn't quite get through. Just by Nemesis in there. Kept it in though. And that wasn't the best of passes. Yeah, but Cousins has become you know, one of the first choice midfielders. It's not just a squad member or anything. Perez, dangerous tackle again. And again, if that's in mid, if that was me, it's probably going to be a foul. What's that? Why have they given it? Oh, it's offside. I was thinking. Well, I don't want to. I don't want a free kick. <laughs> Got the ball. Now Maribet. Now Carlos Perez. Maribet. Vieira. Oh, Deflex can never get a proper shot away from outside the box. Well, very rarely. Perez, Martinelli. Ooh, Nelly got through two defenders there somehow, and I don't know what happened there. <laughs> it's 1 1 at half time, though. And we had 64% possession. Basically, most of the shots, the chances, but that one early chance they had that took it, the sloppy defendant, and we've been fighting back ever since. It's a foul, isn't it? How many times do we get fouled in the box and not get anything? Maribet. Oh, lovely ball there. What a pass that was. Just couldn't quite... Yeah, Maribet here. Let's have a look at this. Lovely pass. And uh, Castro just couldn't quite get it past the... Defend it. It's another great the game is whenever the defence. Hang on, let me. Martinelli. Back at. Martinelli again. Perez. Martinelli, no, not quite. Yeah, but whenever the defence, the AI defence that is, clear, it always falls to one of their players as well. It's just one of those things. I'd, surely when they were testing it and everything, they would have seen that. Oh, 
anyway, I still absolutely love the game. I suppose if you play it enough, like I do, um, you start to see that even the smallest faults, because you're playing so much, the getting your nerves a little bit. It's like that with any game, though. Here's Mariba. Piera. Oh, the, hit the defender's heel. Bit unlucky for me. Took off from that. Lovely ball. Oh, Castro just couldn't quite get there. We're just being short of cut, like, on every... That's a foul. Come on, ref. We're not going to make any subs today, I don't think. Oh. Oh, hit the crossbar twice. Oh, my God. Great free kick. Oh, then the rebound as well. Oh my god. It's one of those days, isn't it? I just... It's, I mean, those are big things not going my way, but there's just little things as well where passes are hitting defenders' heel. They don't know about it, but then they're getting away with it. Um, cut a shout to a penalty. Martinelli can't keep it. Nice ball back through to Martinelli. Martinelli, oh, good effort. Good effort. It's a very tight angle. Just so many defenders in there, though. It's right, Perez, I haven't seen too much of him. That's a foul, surely. It just absolutely. Taking the player out. Castro to Martinelli. Castro. Vieira. And he falls over as he shoots. Ay, ay, ay. Nothing's going our way. Every 50-50 ball is going their way. Right, come on. Got that one clear. Martinelli. Again, that looks like a foul, Martinelli. What a finish! His shirt was getting pulled all over the place there. How he's fired that one in, I have no idea. It's a lovely ball from Castro, but he's... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I squeezed that one in. Just playing off the shoulder of the defender. Perfectly timed. Getting a shirt pulled three, four times. Getting tripped. And still no foul called. <laughs> what a finish from Martinelli. That's what he does. He's just got that extra class. Um, and he's been the difference for us in this game where it's been... Like I say, it hasn't really been going our way. We haven't been at our best, but we've probably deserved more than what we had. 
and twice Martinelli's come good when it mattered. And keeping the players on that we did has paid off. We hadn't made any subs. Of course, they're going to be tired, but... Yeah, we're now. Perez. Cousins. Back at Cousins. Castro. That's oh, wide. He does that normally so well, but back completely to goal and he almost does like a, a 180 within a split second and shoots yeah and I've seen him do that so many times and get a great shot on target and score but there it is 2-1 very very tough win but I think we deserved it in the end and again we had over 60% possession that first attack on call they had which was in about 2 or 3 minutes is the only attack they really had and Martinelli getting man of the match without doubt Ruben Castro was spot on as well Carlos Perez is a bit missing and then he, he started to get into a little bit more in the second half it was just one of those performances where we had to grind it out and somehow find a way to get through and we did in the end and that's actually made a massive difference in the end because Atletico Madrid clearly got a draw in the last match. We're now 10 points ahead of them. Finding that second goal in that match has made a big difference in the league. We're now at home to Barcelona in the next match. Only three days before that. Remember, we haven't made any subs in this match. So a lot of tired bodies. I knew there was going to be some changes regardless in the next match. So hopefully you'll join us for that one. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And think about subscribing to the channel. But I'll see you all then. Cheers.